It wasn't out of the ordinary for world champions. Even, uh, let's go switch over to the AWA for a second. In the early okay. 60s, <laughs> there were some Omaha title changes. Right. One of them involved Fritz Von Erich. Now, that's, that's a recognized title change by the yep. AWA, and it's in the yep. history. But it was only for a two-week period. And the mm -hmm. deal was, is Vern was doing Fritz a favor. They were friends. Mm -hmm. Fr uh, Fritz was big down in Texas. Yeah. And he agreed to put the title on him. Vern lost the title to him in Omaha. They had a rematch down in Amarillo where Fritz is the champion. And Vern took it back down there. Okay. So the, for lack of a better reason, it was to build a rematch. To Okay bring attention to it. Now, when you talk about the Tommy Rich thing in the NWA, let's back up a little bit and talk okay. about Harley Race. Yeah. Harley has been touted, and even he himself said this, he has been touted as being an eight-time NWA champion. That's correct, yeah. Officially, I remember when he got to six and they made a big deal of it that he had tied Luthez. Now, I'm going to yeah. back up a little bit more real quick, just just quick. Luthez okay. was always the one that he had the most title reigns. He was a six-time NWA champion. Now, yeah. if you go back to what I started with when we started talking, he was three times national association champions, and yeah. then he held the alliance championship three times. Okay. So technically, yeah. he really was the alliance champion only three times. <laughs> Because that yeah. was a different organization, but different, they, yeah. Yeah. they put them together. And it, yeah. that's the history. It is what it is. So with yeah. Harley Race, Harley went to Japan. Um, oh, I don't remember the years. He went to Japan and, you know, the wrestlers would go over there on their tours. And Harley, as champion, would go over there and spend two weeks mm -hmm. defending the title to a couple of challenge Usually in those days, in the late 70s, it was Giant Baba, Shohei Baba. And he was the challenger. Well, they actually gave the title to Baba for mm -hmm. one week in Japan. Yeah. Harley won it back. Well, there's number seven, folks. And then a year later, they actually did the same thing. He lost it to Baba and won it back a week later, give or take. So Baba gets credit for being a two-time champion, but total time champion two weeks. Yeah. You know, both times. Yeah. So with the Tommy Rich thing, uh, there's varying opinions, and it gets down. If, if if I've talked to fans that were just hardcore yeah. Tommy Rich fans, oh, my God, Tommy yeah. Rich was the god. He was this. Yeah. He was a good worker. But yeah. it never does any good, Brian, to sit there and talk to a wrestling fan if you know, if you said, well, who's your favorite wrestler and who should be on the Mount Rushmore? Well, those Tommy Rich fans are going to say Tommy Rich. Well, mm -hmm. for what? You know, yeah. I mean, the truth of the matter was, is that even though Tommy Rich was a decent draw as a baby face, yeah. he wasn't the best draw. So yeah. they came up with the idea, we're going to come in and we're going to have Harley put him over. And Tommy Rich would be champion. That boosts Tommy yeah. Rich. A week later, yeah, he drops it back, but he can forever claim to be world champion. And yeah. for the next year or two or three, whatever Rich had left of his career, however long he wrestled, yeah, he had that, I was the world champion. And then the fans, you know, they believe that he did it once, he can do it again.